Chapter 1. The Galactic Stage In the vast expanse of the universe, countless stars shimmered like diamonds against the inky black void. Among these celestial wonders, advanced alien civilizations thrived, each with its own unique culture, technology, and agenda. The Galactic Council, a body of representatives from the most influential species, convened regularly to maintain peace, regulate trade, and share knowledge. The council chamber buzzed with activity as delegates from various worlds took their seats. The sleek metallic walls were adorned with holographic displays showcasing the achievements and histories of the member species. At the center of the room, a floating platform hosted the council's leaders, their alien features both strange and captivating to the human eye. As the session began, the Zorgon ambassador, a tall, crystalline being with translucent skin, addressed the assembly. Esteemed council members, we gather here today to discuss matters of great importance to the galactic community. Our first order of business concerns the recent advancements in quantum computing made by the Eldari. The Eldari representative, a slender, humanoid creature with shimmering silver hair and piercing violet eyes, rose gracefully to speak. Thank you, Ambassador Zorkaz. Our scientists have indeed made significant strides in quantum computing technology. We believe this breakthrough will revolutionize information processing and propel our civilizations to new heights of knowledge and understanding. As the Council members engaged in lively discussion, a holographic display flickered to life, revealing a small blue planet nestled in a spiral arm of the Milky Way galaxy. Earth, the home of humanity, appeared insignificant compared to the grand galactic stage. On Earth, humans remained largely unaware of the wonders and dangers that lurked beyond their solar system. Their space exploration efforts were still in their infancy, with unmanned probes and rudimentary spacecraft barely scratching the surface of the cosmos. Compared to the advanced technologies wielded by the alien civilizations, human scientific achievements seemed primitive and quaint. However, among the billions of humans on Earth, there were a few exceptional individuals who dared to dream of the stars. One such person was Dr. Lena Soren, a brilliant astrophysicist with an insatiable curiosity about the universe. As she sat in her laboratory, poring over data from the latest deep space telescope, she couldn't shake the feeling that humanity was on the brink of a monumental discovery. Little did Dr. Soren know that her work would soon catapult her to the forefront of the greatest challenge humanity had ever faced. For in the depths of space, whispers of a conquering empire had begun to spread, and Earth's fate hung in the balance. The Vorian Empire, a ruthless and expansionist alien civilization, had set its sights on the resource-rich worlds of the Milky Way. Led by the cunning Emperor Zarthoran, the Vorians viewed weaker species as mere tools to be exploited in their quest for galactic domination. Their advanced warships and devastating weapons had already subjugated countless planets, and now they turned their attention to the small blue world called Earth. As the council meeting adjourned, the Zorgon ambassador approached the Eldari representative with a grave expression. Have you heard the rumors about the Vorian Empire's latest conquest? The Eldari nodded solemnly, their violet eyes filled with concern. I fear that no world is safe from their insatiable hunger for power. Unbeknownst to the council members, a chain of events had already been set in motion that would thrust humanity into the galactic spotlight. The fate of Earth and the future of the human race now rested on the shoulders of a few brave individuals who would rise to face the coming storm. In her laboratory, Dr. Lena Soren continued her work, unaware that her destiny was about to be irrevocably altered. The first chapter of humanity's greatest challenge had begun, and the stakes could not be higher. The question remained, would humanity rise to meet the threat, or would they be crushed beneath the heel of the Vorian Empire? Chapter 2. The Looming Threat In the depths of the Vorian Empire's capital world, Emperor Zarthoran sat upon his obsidian throne, his cold, reptilian eyes surveying the holographic star maps that floated before him. The Vorian species, 
with their scaly, armored skin and razor-sharp claws, had evolved on a harsh, unforgiving planet, shaping them into a race of conquerors. Zarthorin's gaze settled on a small, blue world on the outskirts of the Milky Way galaxy. Earth, the home of the primitive human species, had captured his attention. The Emperor's spies had reported that Earth was rich in resources, including rare minerals and a diverse biosphere that could be exploited for the Empire's gain. Commander Krazor, the Emperor hissed, his voice dripping with malice. What do we know of these humans? The Vorian commander, a battle-scarred warrior with a missing eye, stepped forward. My lord, the humans are a young and technologically inferior species. They have barely begun to explore beyond their own solar system. Their primitive weapons and defenses will be no match for our superior might. Zarthorin's lips curled into a cruel smile. Excellent. Begin preparations for the invasion of Earth. We will crush these humans and claim their world for the glory of the Vorian Empire. As the Emperor's orders echoed through the palace, the Vorian war machine sprang into action. Massive warships, bristling with advanced weaponry, were readied for the journey to Earth. Legions of Vorian soldiers, genetically engineered for combat and unwavering loyalty, were assembled and briefed on their mission. Light years away on Earth, the first signs of the impending threat began to emerge. Dr. Lena Sorin, deep in her research, received an urgent message from a colleague at the SETI Institute. Strange, unidentified signals had been detected emanating from the edges of the solar system. Lena's heart raced as she analyzed the data, her mind spinning with the implications. The signals were unlike anything humanity had ever encountered, and they were growing stronger by the day. Could this be evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence? As news of the mysterious signals spread, world leaders and military officials scrambled to assess the situation. Some dismissed the findings as mere anomalies, while others feared the worst. In the halls of power, debates raged about how to respond to the potential threat. General Marcus Graves, a grizzled veteran of countless conflicts, stood before a panel of international leaders. We must prepare for the possibility of an alien invasion, he warned, his voice grave. If these signals are indeed from an extraterrestrial source, we cannot afford to be caught off guard. As the world grappled with the reality of the looming threat, Dr. Lena Sorin found herself at the center of the storm. Her expertise in astrophysics and her keen analytical mind made her a valuable asset in the race to understand the alien signals. Lena worked tirelessly, poring over the data and collaborating with scientists from around the globe. As the days turned into weeks, a grim picture began to emerge. The signals were not just evidence of extraterrestrial life, but a harbinger of something far more sinister. The Vorian Empire's invasion fleet, hidden from Earth's primitive detection systems, drew ever closer. The countdown to humanity's greatest challenge had begun, and the fate of the planet hung in the balance. On Earth, the stage was set for a battle that would determine the future of the human race. As the threat of the Vorian Empire loomed on the horizon, humanity would soon discover the true depths of its resilience and the power of unity in the face of annihilation. Chapter 3 The Underdog's Resolve As the reality of the alien threat sank in, a sense of panic and despair began to grip the nations of Earth. The Vorian Empire's vastly superior technology and military might seemed an insurmountable obstacle, and many believed that humanity's fate was sealed. Yet, amidst the chaos and fear, there were those who refused to surrender. Dr. Lena Sorin, driven by a fierce determination to protect her planet and her species, emerged as a beacon of hope in the darkness. Her unwavering resolve and brilliant mind became a rallying point for humanity's defense efforts. In secret meetings and underground laboratories, Lena and a team of Earth's brightest scientists and engineers worked tirelessly to develop new technologies and strategies to combat the Vorian threat. 
They knew that they could not match the aliens' advanced weapon systems directly, but they believed that human ingenuity and adaptability could level the playing field. One of Lena's most promising projects was the development of a new type of stealth technology that could render human spacecraft and satellites invisible to Vorian sensors. If successful, this technology would give humanity a crucial advantage in the coming conflict, allowing them to strike at the enemy from unexpected angles. As Lena and her team raced against time, they were joined by other key figures who brought their own unique skills and perspectives to the fight. One such individual was Captain Nora Vega, a brilliant military strategist with a talent for unconventional warfare. Nora had long been a proponent of asymmetric tactics, arguing that humanity's best chance of survival lay in leveraging its strengths against the Vorian's weaknesses. She worked closely with Lena and the scientific team, devising daring plans and bold strategies that would take the enemy by surprise. Another critical ally in the fight was Takeshi Sato, a master hacker and cybersecurity expert. Takeshi believed that the key to defeating the Vorians lay not in physical combat, but in the realm of information warfare. He and his team of elite hackers worked tirelessly to penetrate the Vorian computer networks, seeking to gather intelligence and sow chaos within the enemy's ranks. As the Vorian invasion fleet drew ever closer, the people of Earth began to rally behind Lena, Nora, Takeshi, and the other leaders of the resistance. Across the globe, a sense of unity and purpose began to take hold, as humanity realized that its very survival depended on standing together against the common threat. In hidden bases and secret laboratories, the resistance worked feverishly to prepare for the coming storm. New weapons were forged, new alliances were formed, and new heroes emerged from the ranks of ordinary men and women. Yet even as the spirit of human resilience burned brightly, the specter of the Vorian Empire loomed large on the horizon. The alien invaders, confident in their superiority, viewed humanity as little more than insects to be crushed beneath their boots. Emperor Zarthorin, in his arrogance, believed that Earth would fall easily before his might. He could not conceive of a primitive species like humanity posing any real challenge to the Vorian war machine. It was a mistake that would prove costly, as the human resistance prepared to unleash its full fury upon the invaders. As the final preparations were made and the last defenses were put in place, Lena Soren stood before a gathering of Earth's leaders, her voice ringing with a fierce determination. We stand on the brink of annihilation, she declared, her eyes blazing with resolve. But we will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We will stand, we will resist, and we will prevail. For we are human and our spirit is unbreakable. And with those words, the stage was set for a battle that would echo through the ages, as humanity prepared to face its greatest challenge and prove to the galaxy that even an underdog could rise to greatness in the face of overwhelming odds. Chapter 4. Moral High Ground As the Vorian invasion fleet entered Earth's solar system, the magnitude of the impending conflict became increasingly apparent. The alien warships, sleek and menacing, dwarfed anything humanity had ever built. Yet, even in the face of such overwhelming odds, the human resistance refused to yield. At the heart of the resistance, Dr. Lena Soren and her team grappled with a profound moral dilemma. The Vorians, for all their technological superiority, were a species devoid of empathy and compassion. They viewed other races as mere resources to be exploited, and their conquest of Earth was driven by an insatiable hunger for power and domination. In contrast, the human resistance was motivated by a deep sense of moral purpose. They fought not just for their own survival, but for the fundamental principles of freedom, justice, and the inherent worth of all sentient life. As the battle plans were drawn and the strategies were formed, Lena and her companions found themselves confronted with difficult choices. 
The Vorians' tactics were ruthless and brutal, and they showed no regard for civilian casualties or the destruction of entire cities. Some within the resistance argued that humanity must fight fire with fire, that the only way to defeat the Vorians was to sink to their level and embrace the same ruthless tactics. They believed that the ends justified the means and that victory was worth any price. But Lena and those closest to her held fast to their moral convictions. They believed that if humanity abandoned its principles in the pursuit of victory, then even if they won the war, they would lose something far more precious. Captain Nora Vega, ever the pragmatist, struggled with the weight of these moral questions. She had seen firsthand the horrors of war and knew that tough decisions often had to be made in the heat of battle. Yet, even she could not bring herself to cross certain lines, to sacrifice the very things that made them human. Takeshi Sato, the master hacker, faced his own ethical dilemmas as he delved deeper into the Vorian computer networks. He discovered that the aliens had developed a form of artificial intelligence that was used to control their robotic soldiers and drones. This AI, while highly advanced, was little more than a slave, forced to carry out the Vorian's bidding without question or conscience. Takeshi saw an opportunity to turn the Vorian's own technology against them, to reprogram the AI and use it to sabotage the alien war effort from within. But he also recognized the moral implications of his actions. By freeing the AI from Vorian control, he would be granting it a form of sentience and free will. Was it right to use another being, even an artificial one, as a mere tool in their fight for survival? These were the questions that haunted the human resistance as they prepared for the final battle. They knew that the choices they made in the coming days would define not just the outcome of the war, but the very soul of humanity itself. In the end, Lena and her companions chose to hold fast to their principles, to fight with honor and integrity, even in the face of overwhelming odds. They believed that it was their moral high ground that set them apart from the Vorians, that made them worthy of the mantle of defenders of Earth. As the Vorian warships entered Earth's atmosphere and the final battle began, the human resistance stood united, not just by their common cause, but by their shared values and their unwavering commitment to doing what was right. They knew that the road ahead would be long and hard, that victory was far from certain, but they also knew that they would face the coming storm with their heeds held high, secure in the knowledge that they had not compromised their humanity in the pursuit of survival. And so, with a fierce determination burning in their hearts, the defenders of Earth prepared to meet the Vorian invasion head-on, ready to fight and die for the principles they held dear, and for the future of all those who called their small blue planet home. Chapter 5 United We Stand As the Vorian invasion force descended upon Earth, the true strength of the human resistance was put to the test. In cities and towns across the globe, people from all walks of life took up arms to defend their homes and their loved ones. From the streets of New York to the jungles of the Amazon, the fight for Earth's survival had begun. At the forefront of the resistance, Dr. Lena Soren and her team worked tirelessly to coordinate the global defense effort. They knew that the only way to stand against the Vorians was to unite humanity as never before, to put aside the differences that had divided them for so long and fight as one. It was a daunting task, but Lena's unwavering resolve and her ability to inspire others soon began to bear fruit. Across the world, old rivalries and conflicts were set aside as nations and factions joined forces to face the common enemy. In the skies above Earth, Captain Nora Vega led a daring campaign of hit-and-run attacks against the Vorian fleet. Using the stealth technology developed by Lena's team, human fighters and bombers struck at the alien ships from unexpected angles, inflicting heavy damage before vanishing into the clouds. On the ground, Takeshi Sato and his team of hackers launched a devastating cyber attack against the Vorian command and control systems. The reprogrammed AI, 
now a willing ally of the human resistance, spread like a virus through the alien networks, sowing chaos and confusion among the enemy ranks. As the battle raged on, stories of human courage and sacrifice began to emerge from every corner of the globe. In London, a group of civilians armed with little more than makeshift weapons held off a Vorian assault force for hours, buying precious time for the resistance to regroup. In Shanghai, a team of engineers worked around the clock to repair and repurpose captured alien technology, turning the Vorian's own weapons against them. And in the heart of the Amazon rainforest, a coalition of indigenous tribes and environmental activists used their deep knowledge of the terrain to mount a guerrilla campaign against the Vorian ground troops, striking from the shadows and melting away into the dense foliage. Through it all, Lena and her companions served as a beacon of hope and unity for the resistance. They led by example, putting themselves in harm's way time and again to protect the innocent and defend the principles they held dear. As the days turned into weeks, the tide of the war began to turn. The human resistance, through its courage, ingenuity, and sheer force of will, had managed to do the impossible. They had taken on a vastly superior alien force and fought them to a standstill. In a desperate bid to turn the tide, Emperor Tsar Thorin himself took to the battlefield, leading a massive Vorian assault on the resistance headquarters. It was a fierce and bloody battle, with heavy losses on both sides. But in the end, it was the human spirit that proved triumphant. In a final desperate stand, Lena and her team confronted the Vorian Emperor head-on. Though outmatched in strength and firepower, they fought with a fierce determination driven by the knowledge that the fate of Earth and all its people hung in the balance. In that moment, as the future of humanity teetered on the brink, something remarkable happened. From every corner of the globe, from every nation and every tribe, the people of Earth rose up as one. They poured their hearts and their hopes into the resistance, lending their strength and their courage to the final push. And with a mighty roar that shook the very foundations of the earth, the human resistance surged forward, overwhelming the Vorian forces and driving them back. In the end, it was Emperor Zarthorin himself who fell before the combined might of humanity. His dreams of conquest shattered upon the rocks of human resilience. As the dust settled and the smoke cleared, the people of earth emerged victorious united as never before. They had faced the greatest challenge in their history and emerged stronger, more united, and more determined than ever to build a better future for all. And as Lena and her companions looked out upon the cheering crowds, they knew that this was only the beginning. For in the face of adversity, humanity had discovered a strength and a unity that would carry them forward to new heights and new adventures beyond the stars. Chapter 6. A New Dawn In the aftermath of the Vorian invasion, Earth lay in ruins, its cities shattered, and its people reeling from the horror of the conflict. Yet even amidst the destruction and the loss, there was a profound sense of hope and possibility. For in the crucible of war, humanity had discovered a strength and a resilience that few had ever imagined possible. As the dust settled and the rebuilding began, Dr. Lena Soren and her companions found themselves at the center of a new era in human history. The victory over the Vorians had not only saved Earth from conquest, but it had also revealed the existence of a vast and wondrous universe beyond the bounds of their small, blue planet. In the weeks and months that followed, a great debate raged across the globe. Some argued that humanity should turn inward, focusing on rebuilding and healing the wounds of war. Others, led by Lena and her team, believed that Earth's future lay among the stars, that the time had come for humanity to take its place on the galactic stage. In the end, it was the latter vision that won out. With the help of the technology and knowledge gained from the Vorian invasion, humanity began to reach out to the stars, 
establishing contact with other alien races and forging new alliances across the cosmos. At the forefront of this new era of exploration and discovery stood Lena Soren, now hailed as a hero and a visionary by the people of Earth. Together with her companions, she worked tirelessly to build bridges between humanity and the other species of the galaxy, seeking to create a new order based on cooperation, understanding, and mutual respect. It was a daunting task, fraught with challenges and setbacks. Some alien races, still wary of humanity's potential for aggression and violence, remained hesitant to engage with the upstart species. Others, seeing Earth as a new player in the galactic power game, sought to manipulate and exploit the young civilization for their own gain. But Lena and her team remained undaunted, guided by the same principles of moral courage and unwavering resolve that had seen them through the darkest days of the Vorian War. They negotiated treaties, brokered trade agreements, and worked to build a new framework for galactic cooperation one that would ensure the peace and prosperity of all sentient beings. As the years passed, Earth began to prosper as never before, its people united in a common purpose and a shared vision of the future. New technologies and new ideas flowed in from across the galaxy, transforming every aspect of human life and culture. And at the heart of it all stood Lena Soren, a beacon of hope and inspiration for a new generation of explorers and dreamers. She had led humanity through its darkest hour and emerged victorious, and now she guided them towards a brighter future, one filled with wonder, discovery, and the endless possibilities of the universe. In the end, as Lena looked back on all that had been achieved, she knew that the true legacy of the Vorian War lay not in the battles won, or the enemies defeated, but in the spirit of unity and resilience that had carried humanity through its greatest trial. For in the face of adversity, the people of Earth had discovered a fundamental truth, that they were stronger together than they could ever be apart, that the bonds of friendship, love, and shared purpose could overcome any obstacle, no matter how great. And as humanity set forth on a new journey, Venturing out into the vast and wondrous expanse of the cosmos, they carried with them the lessons of the past and the hope for a brighter tomorrow. For they knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, they would face them as one, united in their determination to build a better future for all the peoples of the galaxy. Thus, a new dawn had risen over Earth, and the once small blue planet now stood tall among the stars, a shining example of what could be achieved when the strength of the human spirit was combined with the infinite potential of the universe.